If you want to know how you can make your own quick chat system in Roblox Studio, then make sure that you watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can make your own quick chat system. So how that's going to work, at the top of your screen there will be a GUI with um, a, a quick chat message button which you can open and then another GUI pops up with uh, buttons displaying what you can do as a quick message as you can see on the example on screen right now. So that is really cool so imagine you're standing in front of someone and they don't see the enemy, but you're too slow to type. You can just open the panel, and he's behind you, and then you can just shoot him, you know? Basically like that. It is basically a pretty helpful. You can do greetings, you can do some senses, and you can do some uh, warnings. And you can always implement your own, so that's really cool. So if you're new to my channel and you do in fact enjoy the tutorial, make sure to support me by leaving a like on this video if you like it. And if you don't like it, please drop a dislike on this video because honest feedback really helps me out a lot than fake feedback or whatever. Just be honest with me. I really appreciate everything. And uh, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscri subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, become a member, do anything you want, and make sure to follow the video if you want to. But before we start this video, I want to give a quick and huge shout out to my friend Lewis Scripps and my trusted helper Pago Manos uh, in my Discord server because Pago gave me the source code for this. I changed it and Lewis Scripps helped me to fix all of the issues I had with the code. So huge shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for helping me out. And now let's roll the videotape. So without further ado, let's hop right into the tutorial. So newbie, what do we do? I'm going to be showing you exactly what to do in this tutorial in the setup section. So what we're going to do now is you want to go to the link in the description. There will be a model and you want to click on the link and then get the model on Roblox. After you've done that and you've got the model, go back to Roblox Studio and then continue the video. So assuming you've all got the model now, thank you very much. You can go to view at the top of your screen right over here and then you will see toolbox. And as you can see, we can insert the Doris figure, which is not recommended. But what we're going to be doing is we are going to click on the inventory tab over here. And then you will see all of your models. Very beautiful. But we just want to click on quick chat system. So uh, let's do that right now. And includes two scripts. Yep. Okay. There we go. So now we uh, have... Um, a folder with replicated storage, server script service, and starter GUI. Now you want to drag the scripts or the things where they're supposed to. So starter GUI, this thing goes into starter GUI. Server script service goes into server script service. And replicated storage goes into replicated storage. There are two scripts we have to code, which is the server script and the client script over here. We're first of all going to start by coding the server script. And then after that, we will code the client script over here. Two simple scripts you just have to code. And then after that, we will continue the video. So make sure you keep up. And if you have any errors, join my Discord server. Let's go.
So that right there was all of the coding done for this tutorial, and now I am going to explain to you what we have done. So in the server script, we have two variables, replicated storage and chat. They're both uh, requiring services, kind of basic. If there's not a player, not an argument, and not a text, uh, then we're going to do nothing. But if the argument is a quick chat message, then we are going to make sure the player like automatically chats. Um, it's going to be displaying above their head. We're going to display the text, uh, the, the quick chat message, and it's going to be in white. So you can do whatever you want. If you want red, just do that. Doesn't really doesn't matter. The client script, on the other hand, is a completely different story because it is front end coding. So we have replicated storage, a variable. We got uh, defining frames. We are setting the frames, more variables, and a table. If you hover over the button, uh, which is going to be over here, then it is going to be a little bit like you're going to get that feeling of, hey, okay, I'm on the button, you know? And then when you leave, we're going to reset the button back. Open text options, so that means you can actually click on the chat message and then it will actually get sent, as you can see over here. Close text options, uh, just the other way around, so we're going to disconnect any function attached to the buttons so that they are not clickable anymore. But when you open the frame again, so when you click the button again, this thing gets fired, so that means you can actually click on them instead of not clicking on them. Okay. When you click the button over here, the open button, uh, if it is cl uh, if it's closed, then we're going to open it, and if it's uh, open, we're going to close it. A local function reset all buttons, so if you click on another category, we have three categories. If you click on one of them, we are going to make sure that uh, all of them disappear, all buttons will disappear. And then over here, when you click on uh, a category, we're going to make sure that only those that, that the specific category buttons is going to be visible. That's basically all you have to know. So now we've entered the testing section. This is the best part. Now we can play the game and we're going to actually test this out. So 3, 2, 1, boom. And as you can see, it fades in and it can fade away again. As you can see, that, that works. And then over here, you will see greetings, senses, and warnings. Uh, feel free to customize this. It really doesn't matter. Just to customize them. So let's check greetings. We got hello, welcome, what's up, goodbye, see ya, and cheers. So, um, you're standing in front of a British person, and you're like, haha, cheers! And as you can see, it pops up above my head, cheers. We can spam cheers, haha, cheers, mate, cheers, whoa -ho -ho. We can go to senses, and we can go uh, to, I see him, and then you're standing, like, he, someone's over here too, and you're like, hey, I see him, nice. And then over here, nope, I can't see anymore, I hear it. And then on warnings, you're like, attack! Enemies ahead! Enemy! Fire! Point A, B, C! As you can see, defend here! Come on, we have to defend here! Kind of like that. As you can see, it actually works. So, I'm gonna quickly launch a two-player session to prove that other players can actually see it. So now both players have loaded in the game. As you can see, we are walking around. So this person, so this person over here, as you can see, the menu pops up. So I wanna walk up to this guy and say cheers. Cheers! And as you can see, this player actually sees it. So now I'm gonna say hello. And as you can see, that player sees it. Warnings, enemies ahead. As you can see, it actually works. So we're just gonna spam every single thing. As you can see, nothing, nothing is breaking. Uh, nothing is not working. Everything is working just fine. As you can say, cheers. And then this one, cheers. So we got two times cheers which is double cheers, I'm just saying something. But as you can see, it actually works for other people too, which was our main goal of the tutorial. So if you did in fact enjoy this tutorial, and if you just liked it, make sure to give this video a like if you like it. And if you don't like this video, please drop a dislike on the video, because honest feedback really helps me out a lot. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, become a member, and all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say, peace out, cheers.